and an apology from two South Bay teenagers accused in the death of Audrey Pott. She's the teenager who took her own life after a sexual assault that involved cell phone images. KPI X5 Sharon Chin on the unusual terms of the surprise legal settlement. Sharon? Ellen, this wrongful death case was headed to trial next week, but today a deal. It's one designed to clear Audrey's name and prevent a similar tragedy. The story made national headlines after Audrey passed out at a house party in 2012. She was sexually assaulted. She awoke to nasty messages written on her body. There were also cell phone photos shared among some classmates at Saratoga High. In court today, two teenagers identified as John B. and John R. admitted their role in the attack and they apologized for everything that happened after. The false rumors and the humiliation that her parents say drove Audrey to commit suicide. As part of the settlement, the boys' families will pay $950,000. But there's also this. The teenagers will be part of a documentary. They'll be required to do interviews and talk honestly about what happened. What's more, each will have to make 10 presentations at high schools about the dangers of drinking, sexting, nude photos, and shaming. In their apology today, the teenagers called Audrey, quote, a good and principled person who did not deserve what happened to her. A third teenage boy reached a settlement with the Pot family last month. In the newsroom, Sharon Chin, KPIX 5.